Hello everyone. Okay, so today I'm at Costco. I'm gonna share with you guys the do's and don'ts when it comes to buying meats and produce and all of that stuff. So we just parked. Let's go inside. If you guys are looking for a Blackstone, Costco has one right now for 400 bucks. Let's see how it looks inside. Very nice, but not right now. One problem I have is I love to go down their aisles. They have so many nice stuff. Okay, so you know we are going to be staying away from stuff like this. This is what we came for. So one problem we're having is these meats are... Yeah. One thing I do like to get is the chicken thighs as well as the chicken breast. These you can make a lot of different recipes with. And actually they're not a bad price at all. And you get six of them. So here we have the chicken thighs, but I'm sorry, the chicken breast. Chicken breast is the only one that is organic. I don't know why, but they have different stuff here. Chicken tenderloin. So one thing you guys, you need to look out for. This looks absolutely amazing. It says no preservatives, no MSG, artificial flavors, colors. But when you flip it over, pork, water, salt, dextrose, sugar, I mean, no, no good. These, on the other hand, absolutely recommend. Nothing but good ingredients. I'm grabbing me two of these. Okay, so I actually came across this one too. Smoked pulled pork. And the ingredients are very nice. My thing is that I came with a list, so I cannot just go crazy, but I do recommend that you guys look at everything. So when you have stuff like this, make sure that you are looking at the ingredients. Most likely, okay, I literally just found it. Sugar. Oh, and cane sugar. It's got all of these nasty stuff in here. Definitely not. Make sure you guys are looking at your ingredients. They also have a variety of fish. <laughs> this is a must have. If you guys have not had pork belly yet, highly recommend. We got pork loin. I think I am going to grab one. So one thing I gotta tell you guys, we were at a Greek place and they had this exact meat. Well, I just looked at the ingredients. Okay, bread crumbs, dextrose salt binder. You have potato starch, sodium phosphate. You have everything else in here that is not for us, especially what we're doing. I would stay away from this one. Stuff like this, you know they're gonna have different ingredients, things that we cannot have. No fruits, no vegetables. Time for the cheese aisle. This is gonna be dangerous because you know I'm like obsessed with cheese. So, but yeah, we're gonna stay away from stuff like this. Feta cheese is always good. Goat cheese, I'm grabbing me one. Which this is amazing because it has a two pack. You can put this on your pork chops. You can make grilled cheese with it. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, this is dangerous. Ooh, mozzarella. I think I'm gonna grab me some mozzarella. Hold on. All right, this is gonna take me a while. Okay, I decided I'm gonna grab one of these as well, which, ooh, yes. Also comes in a two-pack, and the price is not bad. 
Okay, so here I'm gonna say for this one, this is seasoned ribs. Only thing it says here it says two percent or less. It has sugar. Everything else is not bad. Less than two percent. Well, me and my husband we eat half at a time, so I'll eat like a quarter, I guess you can say, of this whole slab. And then my husband, so this one actually might not be that bad for the price. You know what, let's do it. Okay, my least favorite spot. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm in the fridge. Okay, so milk, we are good at. Even the milk, make sure that you guys are checking it out. I'm coming here for the eggs. Let's see here, what we got. Cage free. Um, cage free okay we don't have the organic I'm gonna try it at a different place one thing that I did find that I have been looking for is whole milk for this price you know what I'm so grabbing one if I can't oh hold on they're all broken I guess they wanted to see like you get three of them so okay found one Okay, so in one of my videos, I said I use a Kerrygold, which this is what I use. I use one stick of butter. They also have this one, grass-fed butter. This is salted, so make sure you guys keep in mind when you're doing stuff. I think this is really good. What is the price for here? Okay, not bad. Since I'm here, I need to grab me some toilet paper. Okay, so this is my favorite brand, and it is $30. What happened? Toilet paper, you guys. Ah, oh, but I need it. All right, so another thing I found, patties. You have a ground sirloin, or you have 100% grass-fed, which that is what I recommend. Bottom is 30, grass-fed is $27.79. I grabbed me one already. Okay, let's talk about shrimp. Yes, you'd be tempted to grab the $13.89. This is farm raised. You never want farm raised. Get wild Argentina. This is what you're looking for. Okay, let's check out bacon. This has low sodium bacon. And it's a very, very large pack. But again, when you look at the ingredients, where are the ingredients? Water, salt, sodium phosphate, sodium, sodium nitrate. We want to stay away from these ingredients. Okay, next up we got cheese. Not a bad price. So one thing I will say, you get a four pack variety. The ingredients are clean. You just got that annatto vegetable color, which is not bad. So you get four different cheeses for that price. Baby Bell, never can go wrong with Baby Bell. $10, not bad. Okay, so you guys can get shredded cheddar cheese or get the block, which I think I'm gonna do the block. And it's only $6.89, which shredded, is 1669 and the ingredients are not bad now keep in mind when you're also doing shredded you do have a little bit of a different um, ingredient here you got potato starch to prevent cooking and like all of these i you know what no do not get the shredded i would recommend you get the block and you can just shave and use whatever you want whenever you want and for the prices yes I say that's a better deal. Okay, for the price, I even got a Monterey Jack. Another thing, so I love San Pellegrino. $20.99, and you get this whole case, which I do believe, what is it, 24 pack? Okay, I'm in the aisle with oils. Uh, no, soybean oil, peanut oil, uh absolutely not uh 
You better be kidding me. Absolutely not. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, if you guys are going to use any kind of oil, please let it just be the butter. Now, olive oil is good, but if you are doing carnivore, I would stay away from it. Butter, ghee, rendered bacon fat. That's the best way to cook, you guys. None of this, no oils. So try to stay clean as possible. Speaking of ghee, $8.99, you guys. So they have, no, that's not it. Okay, I'm not gonna grab any of this, but this is the organic ghee pretty large container 27 ounce there you go 8.99 18 all right so this is the chicken breast that i have been using in all my meals 11.99 so one thing that i used to buy for 8.99 is these bacon crumbles you would think that it's good but when you look at the ingredients, where are you? Water, salt, sugar, sodium, phosphate, sodium, I'm not going to say that word, and sodium nitrate. Uh, yes, and you got sugar. It says zero sugar, but the thing is that they cure it. They put everything in sugar. Um, yeah, that doesn't make sense. It's not worth it. Too bad because these were good, but not anymore. Okay. I'm not going to even attempt to go down this lane. It's all bread flour, pastas, yeah. So if you guys are wondering about carnivore and honey, okay, that's kind of like a gray area because they say, oh, it comes from animal, but it's actually from their spit. So if you guys want to sweeten something, I mean, I guess I would leave it up to you guys. I do not. I try no sweet whatsoever, so any kind of honey. Now before, Arizona raw honey was my favorite and I highly recommend. And for that price, you can't go wrong, but carnivore, yeah, great area. All right, so this is what the cart looks like. Not everything is mine. Me and mom came shopping together, but I definitely grabbed some goodies. So if you guys have any questions on anything, let me know. All right, you guys, so this is everything that I got from Costco. I'll even show you guys up close and I'll even give you a total on everything that you see right here. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start with the dairy, which I am so excited that I found the organic whole milk. I've tried fries, I've tried different places and Costco actually had it. I got goat cheese, which I had this before, and it's so good with pork chops and putting on the side of steak, and you get a two pack for that price. Same with the mozzarella, two pack. I got Monterey Jack and Colby Jack. These are the blocks, so whenever I want cheese, I'm just gonna shave whatever I need and put the rest in the fridge. Okay, next up I've got six cans of the chicken breast if you guys have seen my videos i use this for chicken nuggets for the chicken tacos and i have more recipes that i actually want to try with this the i call them hot dogs but they're not hot dogs they're called polar sausage these are my favorite super clean ingredients of course i had to get two of them this is 100 percent grass fed grass grass fed beef patties i cannot talk right now <laughs> The size actually looks pretty good, so I did try a different brand before. I'm very curious about this one. Now, pork belly. I'm obsessed with pork belly. $41, but there is like, I don't know, was it two layers in here? This is going to last us a long time. I've got the pork loin, rib loin chops. These, so me and Kellen, let's say two, four, six, seven. Yeah, maybe three meals three and a half meals depends now these ribs you guys they're folded underneath so actually it is way longer than this what i do is i actually portion it out i uh, portion half and between me and my husband i'll eat a quarter and he'll eat a quarter then the other half another time so in this we can eat four different times the price for that, not bad at all. 
chicken thighs, six pack, you guys. This will last us a long time. And then for the last one, we got wild Argentine red shrimp. Do not get farm raised, you guys. This needs to be the way to go. I have the shopping list all here. I'm gonna calculate the price just for what we have here because I did add some extra stuff to my shopping list. But for carnivore alone, this is what I got from Costco. Okay, so it has been a while. It is 6.30. I just finished portioning out everything, uh, which I did make a new video on it. So stay tuned for that because I did uh, portion out the ribs, the pork chops and the pork bellies. And I actually made dinner, the pork bellies. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that video. Now I wanted to share with you guys that I actually calculated everything. So I portioned out me and, and Kellen's meals and I even wrote them down, which there he is. Thank you. <laughs> so I have everything written down. I was able to pull out 49 portions. So me and Callan, one portion or 98 meals. Okay. I wrote everything down. Now my shopping list that I have here is not the total is not accurate because I did buy toilet paper. I bought water, two shirts. Bye, honey. Bye. <laughs> so this is not accurate. The total amount for what you guys saw in the video, 282.72 cents. Okay. This is where it got me. So a portion, me and my husband together, $5.76 or one meal two dollars and 88 cents so i even said that carnivore is so expensive but i'm not eating potato chips i'm not eating sauces anymore pasta processed food so i mean i'm not adding all this junk in me now my husband is not fully carnivore he does eat the meat with me but he'll have a side of potatoes He'll eat the bread. Maybe maybe every once in a while, I'll make him like pasta. So yes, I have things coming in that are not full carnivore, but even like pasta, bread, stuff like that, they're not really expensive. Sauces and junk food, yeah, that adds up. But when I saw this and all of those different meals that I can make, and plus I have the cheese and I'm gonna try to make mozzarella cheese and homemade butter and other things i say it was worth it so maybe next time i'll go to sam's club and kind of like see the difference meat quality the prices what they have and kind of uh, give you guys an idea but i hope this video helped you guys out to kind of understand the yeses the nos do's and don'ts but if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, till my next video, I love you all. God bless you. Have a beautiful and blessed day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.